Hi y'all, it's Caroline. Today I'm going to make a masked kitty on a candy corn folded. I think we could all relate to masks lately and this one is the cutest stamp set by Darcy's. It's called Scary Halloween and I've gone ahead and stamped it with Memento ink on some Bristol Smooth cardstock because I'm going to do uh, some very basic alcohol marker coloring. Nothing fancy here. I lay down the color and then I outline the edges and then blend it all again with the basic color uh, like of the fur. Just it, remember it's a Halloween costume so it doesn't have to be fancy. And these alcohol markers just make the whole thing pop. Super cute. Yep, there's a familiar sight, which is a blue mask. I got these alcohol markers from Amazon. They're Parku. They are they're wonderful. I mean, there's no, they're no different from the Copic markers that I have plenty of, but I was very pleased with these. Now this stamp set does not come with dies. And so I have a scan and cut and it has paid for itself so many times. I'm just finishing the last of these kitties. And I've already run it through my scan and cut it, scanned it. Now I'm getting ready to cut it. Super simple. And very fast. So I did speed this up a little bit. And I'm also using this mat, which I have restuck several times. Um, just like my Cricut mat, you can... Uh, add some glue and let it dry and it becomes tacky again and that's what I'm what I've done here but what I love about the scan and cut is that you can set it to close to cut very close to the black edges and it all cuts you know sometimes have little nubs on them but those are easily snipped away it makes no difference to me the receiver of the card never even notices them. But this is real time now that I'm just showing you how easily these pop off. And those are some pretty good details that it cuts. I use it all the time. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, make a comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I actually made four kitties at one time. I'm just showing you two of them. I also cut off the top of that little pumpkin basket so I could add some string. So I've used a Stamps of Life fold it and cut a card base and then cut the top and bottom with uh, the dies that come with holes in them which make it a little bit more unique and adding liquid glue some Nuvo liquid adhesive so that you do have a little bit of wiggle room when you're positioning these on the card front of course you can make this any color you want and keep using that candy corn dye all year long. It's a keeper. So what I'll do is go ahead and complete this card front and go ahead and stamp the saying. Wait, my mask needs to wear a mask. I've added some sequins. I've added an action wobble to put my kitty on, which now has googly eyes, and a string on that little pumpkin. So since the front is complete, and yes, I see that little sequins popped off, I have to glue that back on, um, just to add some strong adhesive to that fold it, which 
opens on the top. It can also order, open on the side, but because it's a shaped card, it just makes it so cute. So just giving it a position, putting it in position, giving it a press. And I'm ready to get this card in the mail. I use A6 envelopes. It, it is an A2 size card, but so that I'm not squeezing it in an envelope, I do use the next size up to mail these. And I hope you like this, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.